All right, this is a radio that I wanted to show on the channel that might interest some people, and it goes along with the Baofeng multi-pins. Um, it's the UV9G, and it's basically the same thing as all the radios that I've shown, but the G stands for GMRS. And some of you might not care, others might think that this is cool. Um, GMRS is a specific type of radio that's sort of in between ham radio and FRS, which is family radio service. And FRS is kind of like the radios that you'd find at Walmart that you buy for like 50 bucks that are basically a step above kids toys. And ham radios are basically what I've talked about that are more like the A58 or the GT3 WP. And this basically is that radio, but what they did is they programmed the firmware to be locked on a certain set of channels to make it legal for a certain set of people with a certain license to have and use on a higher power. But um, to put it simply, uh, I talk about radios and how they apply to certain group of people wanting to do a certain group of things on my channel. Um, it's up to you to figure out what the laws are. Um, I'm not really going to dive any deeper to that because there's a bunch of people out there that do the work for the FCC and stuff that they don't even really care about. But anyway, enough about that. I'm just here to talk about the radio. Um, anyway, so the reason why I wanted to talk about this was besides the legality and license type of stuff is the fact that this has firmware program programmed into it for GMRS makes it simple. Uh, when you turn it on, channel mode. it kind of just Eight, has nine. GMRS channels pre-programmed into it. It also has the NOAA weather channels and th that's it. Um, GMRS and family radio frequency uh, FRS channels overlap. GMRS is at a higher power. So if you are using a ham radio in an emergency, you can transmit on these frequencies and somebody who is a little bit more simple and is legally able to use GMRS radios because of their wonderful license. Um, you don't need to teach them how to use a ham radio and all the complications with it. They could basically have this, turn it on, the very basics of unlocking it and changing to the channels. And then there's some stuff that you could even do with chirp, if you know what that is, to go on and, and make it less of a chance that they could mess it up. So reason why I wanted to go with my channel too is all the cool stuff that I show from like Sky Eye Tactical with the multi-pin attachments, they're compatible with this. It has the same multi-pin attachment on the side for both programming, because yes, you can attach it and program in, uh, you know, modify some of the GMRS channels. It has uh, DIY repeaters for GMRS repeaters. I'm not going into a whole spiel about GMRS. I'm just saying you can go in and do it. And then there's some other settings and things like that on there. But um, I'll show you a little bit about Chirp later on that it actually does connect because some of the earlier models uh, with this, I guess it was before Chirp was compatible with it and stuff like that. But it's going to have all the same physical hardware features of the other ones. Uh, it does come with a little bit improved antenna over some of the other ones. I guess it's because it's specifically tuned for GMRS, which is cool. Um, not to do a whole unboxing, but it comes with the charger. It comes with the programming cable, this stupid little push to talk headset that I don't care about, the belt buckle thing and all that in the box. Okay. There's your unboxing. Uh, batteries should be the same as like GT3 WP. Uh, UV9R, that. So I guess on some of the earlier models, they came pre-programmed with CTCSS tones, and also they were all set to narrow band. Um, I got one of the later ones, 
those were not pre-programmed in on this particular one. Um, some of the other reviews that I looked up before buying it, they were saying that. Um, I think it was not a Rubicon. I'll put a link to his video. He liked it, but that was one of his complaints about it. Um, um, and then another silly thing is like on most of the Baofangs, uh, some of the keyboard shortcuts, like like when it's unlocked to be able to change your power output by hitting pound, it doesn't work on this model. I don't know why. Maybe that's just something to make it GMRS compliant. Uh, anyway, but it does connect to chirp and like some of the other Baofangs, you can disable the alarm sound and the FM radio, and then you can customize the uh, squelch settings uh, to kind of tune them to your liking. And uh, if you didn't know you could do that with the Baofang radios and you're more interested in exactly what that means, uh, let me know in the comments. I might do a specific video on that eventually talking about that because that might be something that's a little bit more uh, useful to you. But um, all the same waterproofness, ruggedness, toughness, compatibility and everything with these radios, I, I think you're going to find it helpful. Um, it might be a more simple option for you if you're not looking at something as crazy as a ham radio. Um, it's going to get the point across. It's going to work. Batteries are going to be compatible. And then maybe if one person in your group is the more advanced person with comms and wants to use the ham. But uh, let me cut in now and just get and show you how it connects to Chirp. All right, this is my totally untechnical way just to show you. Channel mode. It does work with Chirp. I got Chirp open already. I'm not going to insult your intelligence and show you how to hook up the USB cable or how to set up your COM ports here. For some reason, I got a little bit of squelch through. But anyway, you can see all your channels and stuff are on here. You have your DIY repeater channels and stuff like that. There's more on here, but honestly, because of the simplic simplicity of the way that this radio is supposed to be, I wouldn't really want to mess with this a whole lot. Um, the few things that I would probably recommend if you're using this in a more hey, you want to hand this to a family member or something like that to be compatible with you and they won't mess it up is under settings. Once you set everything the way, sorry, I'm using left-handed here and it's jacking me up. Um, I think it's under other settings. Nope. Advance. The reset menu. So they can't accidentally reset the radio you could uncheck that um, like I talked about you can disable the alarm sound and the FM radio uh, similar to what you can do with some of the other ones which is cool and, it, and it's funny it still shows you the upper and lower VHF and UHF limits in here because really the radio is just a, like a GT3 WP and it's just firmware locked. Um, as far as I'm concerned, or as far as I understand, I don't think it can be unlocked at this point. But, uh, and you could change some other stuff on here, like what are the channels that automatically uh, are set when you turn the radio on and things like that. But um, this is where you'd come to customize the what the squelch settings and stuff like that are. But if you had one of the older ones where uh, all the CT CSS settings and stuff, you'd probably you'd change it in here uh, instead of just keying it in. But it does work with Chirp. I just wanted to add that in here and show you. But anyway, yeah, that's it. Connected into Chirp. Um, neat little radio. Uh, just glad to see another little waterproof option, you know, from Baofeng. It's pretty cool. Wanted to share it on the channel. I've actually had this for a while and tinkered around with it. I've let my kids toss around and talk to me on the property and stuff with it and hasn't got broken. So uh, it's everything I would expect from the Baofeng. Uh, if you're interested in getting one, the link is down in the description to it.
it's not really much else to say about it that people haven't already reviewed. I just kind of wanted to talk about it and say specifically what it would apply to the people who watch my channel and show it as an option. But uh, thanks for watching. Hopefully this is at least a little bit helpful.